So let's go back first to al-Iman. Al-Iman comes from the word amana. And amana in Arabic, it means felt safe. It means felt safe. Remember when I told you about aqida, it means like to make a knot and to hold on to it, right? And so when you hold on to it, basically you feel safe. So let's just imagine that I am in a, in a sea and there is there is a lot of like waves and you know there is like a tornado going on and it's a it's a big storm going on right and i am in a ship right so what does the captain do he will first of all try to tie his ship you know with uh, uh what's the name of it in english i'm not really sure but he will throw something where it is actually it will hold it with the ground so it won't it won't get loose. It won't get lost in the storm, right? And so, what? So, what is what is he doing? You know, he's actually holding tight onto a knot, right? And then, when you are in that ship and you go inside a room and you shelter yourself while it is like stormy and everything, you feel safe. And so, this is what Iman is all about: is how to feel safe, feeling safe is by believing and acting upon the belief. Many people, they translate Iman as faith, which is like the general meaning of Iman. But Iman does not only faith. Faith, it means in English, it means like to believe inside your heart, right? To believe inside your heart. And that's what faith is in English. However, in Arabic, when we are going to translate Iman, it is more than just believing. Because the word believe in Arabic is tasdiq, tasdiq, sadaqa. And that's why Abu Bakr, radiallahu anh, may Allah have, uh, be pleased with him. He's one of the companions of the Prophet, sallallahu And he was the closest companion to the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi He was called Abu Bakr as-siddiq, means that the one who believed in the Prophet, sallallahu because he was the one, the, uh, one of the first people who believed in the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa when uh, the Prophet ﷺ talked about that he went to the seventh heaven and no one believed him and they were mocking him, he was the first one to believe in the Prophet ﷺ and he actually uh, believed in him. So he uh, he trusted the Prophet ﷺ. So basically, Iman, it means to believe in the heart and work with, the, with your actions. In other words, we say in Arabic, at-tasdiq bil-qalb. Tasdiq bil-qalb means believe in the heart. Wal-amal bil-jawarih. Amal means deeds. Bil-jawarih means with our, with, our, uh, with our physical body. So only talking like, oh, I believe in Islam. I believe that there is only one God. I believe in this and that. Is that enough? It's not enough. There is always, you know, in the Quran, when, when you see the word believe in the Quran, there's, it's always related also with amal, with the deed. So let me show you, for example, it says, Man amana wa amila salihan, whoever believed and made good deeds, okay, who will go to Jannah. Uh, when we have, uh, for example, Surah Al-Asr, everyone knows it, right? Well, Asr in al insana la fi khusr illa ladina amanu, except the ones who believed. وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ عَمِلُوا means did the deeds. So Iman always have to be with Amal. Always, you know, believe is always with work, with deeds. So Iman does not only, so does not only mean to believe in the heart, but also to do the Amal also. And there is an ayah for that. I will show you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not only here mean Iman as only believing in the heart, but also it has to be also with Amal. So Iman is to trust the information in the heart, saying the information by the tongue. When we say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and working upon the information physically by, uh, and, and emotionally. So doing it with passion as well. You know, not to be doing the good deeds, but our heart does not believe in it. No, it has to be all together, the heart and the action together. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قالت الأعراب آمنا قل لم تؤمنوا ولكن قولوا أسلمنا ولما يدخل الإيمان في قلوبكم وإن تطيعوا الله ورسوله لا يلتكم من أعمالكم شيئا إن الله غفور رحيم. The Bedouins say, they said, we have believed, believed in our hearts. That's what they said. Say you have not yet believed, but say instead we have submitted. Means we just became Muslim by saying, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu an Muhammad Rasulullah. For faith has not yet enter, entered your hearts. And if you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not deprive you from your deeds of anything. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. SubhanAllah.